I forgot, somebody commented and said that they've been watching me for a while, like from the beginning almost, which is awesome. I didn't know that there's actually somebody who's been watching me for, for years and years and years. Very cool, thank you so much, I very much appreciate it. And they asked the question of, where'd you get your name? And there's actually a video uh, somewhere in my backlog called What's in a Name? And it's, I, I believe that's exactly the title, What's in a Name? And it's about my, uh, my how I got the name Hashnasi. But I'll just repeat it really quickly. I don't know that it, it bears you going and, and searching for it. I'll just explain it right now. When I was in college, I was taking a math class, I believe it was. It was either a math class or it was some kind of programming class. Anyway, the teacher, professor, not a teacher, the professor uh, was Japanese and had a very strong Japanese accent. And <clears throat> he was returning papers or some project, it was like the first project we had to do. And he would, he would just return everything in these, in these packets, right? So he'd keep everything for weeks and weeks and weeks and then return them all in like one big packet drop. So you kind of wouldn't know what you'd get, but at the same time like, nobody really cared because nobody kept their crap in uh, in college. I, I think some people did for notes, whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm rambling. Anyway, uh, he was handing back packages at this, uh, these, these packets of paper. And at this point, like for those of you who have gone to college know, at somewhere in the first couple of months, you get the mass exodus of people who leave the class. It's either too hard or they can't make the schedule or, you know, whatever. So we've gone from 30 people down to like 10 people. And it's a, you know, it's it's a decent sized room, lecture room. It's not a lecture hall, it's a lecture room. So it's, it's large but not big, not tiered. And he starts handing back these packets and he goes, Hosh nosi, Hosh nosi. And I was like, everybody's looking around like, dude, we know everybody here. Most of us have been going to college together for a little while. Who is this person? Um, there's there's a Japanese person that, that's not taking a class. There's plenty of Asians, no Japanese people. I don't know what you're talking about. And then he starts like motioning like this at me and he goes, Hosh nosi, Hosh nosi, to me, He's like pointing at me. So you can imagine now understanding where this is going how bad his accent was. Uh, anyway, he was calling me. My first name is Josh. So, uh, hush, hush, nothing. Um, yeah, so that is the story. That is where I got the name Hosh Nasi from. Hey, what's up, guys? For Life Hack Tuesday, I wanted to talk to you about the fundamentals of your everyday carry, your EDC. Basically, what I mean by that is the core, the, the nucleus, if you will, of your your EDC's cell. The idea for the foundation of your EDC is it's literally the thing that you carry with all of the time. And you know, you'll see pictures that people post on Instagram or whatnot, and for example, here's some of mine. And they show you like more than most people carry all of the time and more than most people need every day. There's a slim set, if you will, of the Venn diagram, you know, sweet spot, where there's the stuff you carry and the stuff that you want to use and then the stuff in the middle that you actually use all the time or like 80%, 90% of the time. That makes up your fundamental EDC. For me, my fundamental EDC is a Meritac AAA flashlight. It's tiny, it's great, perfectly sized. A Swiss Army Mini Champ. Mini Champ has tons of tools that it makes it a little bit better than this, uh, the Swiss Classic. I like the Mini Champ. It's thicker, but it has a ballpoint pen, it has an extra blade, and it has other assorted things that the Classic doesn't have. And I also carry like a main blade. My main blade is the Spyderco Delica. Spyderco Delica with a wave, and the wave feature gives you that remove and that's a pocket opener. So that is my core, and everything I add to my EDC is all a supplemental thing. So when I'm uh, driving in my car and something breaks, I have supplemental tools in my car to work on my car. That's not my EDC, that's my uh, my drive bag or my, my work car bag, whatever. And then when I go to work, I have a backpack just full of stuff that helps me in my job. But that doesn't mean that I am necessarily, that's my EDC, right? There are some days where I carry a gun. 
I'm not doing that most every day, so that really doesn't classify as part of my fundamental EDC. So the idea, at least what I'm trying to, to, to get you guys thinking in the mindset of is what tasks do you have to do most days? What do you have to work on and what tools do you require to efficiently work on those things? Because in reality, and I think we've all seen it when we're looking at these pictures and it looks like 20 pounds of stuff that they claim, people claim, is their EDC. And the reality is, is they most likely don't use all that stuff in a day. And, and I don't fault them for wanting to carry it. There's nothing wrong with that. But at a certain point, you're not, you're not using those items all the time, so they're not a part of the fundamental tool set, that fundamental everyday carry. If you wanna have massive supplement items to go along with your EDC, more power to you, that's great. There's, there's no reason you shouldn't do that. But you should get in the mindset of thinking, what do I absolutely have to have at all times? What, do, what tools do I absolutely require to get through a normal day? For me, flashlight is a no-brainer, but it's gotta be small. And then you've gotta have two blades. In my case, I have three blades, two being on the, the Mini Champ and, and the other one being on the Delicant. The Delicant has the much more stronger, robust blade. And that pretty much covers me. I've also carried a Leatherman Skeletool, and those were situations where I was working in server rooms, in server bays, working on stuff where I would actually need pliers. So something to think about. The the concepts here are just a philosophical thing, kind of thing. Like, you know, what task do you have, and what do you think you can be prepared for, and what is the smallest amount of gear you can carry to be prepared for it? You know, something to think about. Get excited about, because I've gone through so many different combinations of stuff, like little changes, subtle changes over time, going with only having a slip joint knife, like a classic, a traditional pocket knife, not carrying a, a lockback like the Spyderco, or just having a, a Swiss Army Knife Cadet. Yeah. I carried that for a very long time. You know, just, just multiple, multiple iterations of changes that I've gone through in terms of like core fundamental stuff. Uh, question of the day for this is pretty easy. What is your fundamental set? The actual tools that you use 80% of the time. You can carry more, like I said, nothing wrong with that, but what is your core fundamental set? Your 80% or plus used items. So, you know, for those guys that, that are on Instagram and they're really into like the Snailer, right? The Snailer bottle opener. Kind of a, a, a niche, a little EDC item, but if you open a lot of bottles, that's a cool way to open bottles. If you have any of those. Anyway. Post in the comments, let me know, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you tomorrow.